A few weeks back, just before Eurobike, we saw Zwift Beta hit the Android Play Store for, well, Android devices. Ray and I had a quick look at the DC Rainmaker Pain Cave at what it was all about. I quickly loaded it onto one of Ray's phones. We did a quick pedal to see what it was about, but we really didn't clip in and do a full session. Well, today, now I'm back home here in the Llama Lab, I thought I'd give it a crack. So, the setup for today's workout was as follows. I used a Samsung Galaxy S8. The operating system was Android 8.0.0, so Oreo. I had a Tax Neo Smart Trainer, Tax Heart Rate Strap, both Bluetooth, and Zwift for Android Beta loaded onto here. The course that I chose to ride on for my workout today was Watopia Hilly, so the nine kilometer loop that we've been doing for probably three years now. I'm super familiar with how this course operates and how it, the feedback goes through the pedals and things like that on the Tax Neo, so I wanted to ensure that was the experience that came through while using the Android phone here. A quick overview of the Llama Lab set up for today's test. We have the Tax Neo Smart Trainer, we have my giant TCR bike with a couple of power meters on that. We have a coffee over there on the bench. We have the Samsung Galaxy S8 mounted to the Tax uh, tablet stand. I've kind of had to modify that. I'll show you what I've done here on the back. That's a quad lock. I've got set up there in front of me. So not a big screen. It's Zwifting on the small screen because that's what we're about today for the Android setup. I have a little battery pack there so it doesn't go flat halfway through the ride. That's the tax stand there. And on the big screens, which I usually run Zwift on, we have the move by Lance Armstrong. A bit polarizing, but it's a good wrap up of the day stage. All right, let's get to it. Some hands on with Zwift Android Beta. Okay, back from my workout session, I'll go through my notes that I took during that ride here. Well, everything was using Bluetooth, so Bluetooth connectivity is all that's enabled at this point in time with the Zwift Android Beta app. So with that, I got the road feel on the cobbles with the tax now, which is pretty cool. The gradient changes, well, where I was expected. Uh, the sprint, I got the green jersey here, that responded quite fine. And the two laps of Watopia, of the Watopia Hilly course that I'm very familiar with was, well, very familiar. So that's a thumbs up from the experience point of view. The S8 itself held up very well. I was screen recording at the time, that's what's playing here in the background, and the frame weights were actually pretty good. The touchscreen interface was very familiar, identical to iOS, so you can swipe out the leaderboards and the rider lists, and you can pull up the little screen from the bottom there to control your camera angles or give a ride on or ring the bell, etc. However, rather than just relying on the touchscreen interface of the Android phone here, I pulled out my iPhone 7, I loaded the companion app, bear with me, the world didn't implode, it did actually connect. So I had Android Zwift running on here, I had the companion app running on my iPhone, and it was controlling the Android phone. So it was kind of like a vegan going to a livestock auction. Things could get a bit nasty, but hey, look, they work together perfectly. Other things I made note of here was the workout mode is there and it does work. You can create custom workouts, although the interface on this is just a little bit too small to do much with. Um, I did create a custom workout and it was there with subsequent loads. I couldn't quite find out where the ZWO file was stored. I'm hoping in the near future Zwift will put everything up in the cloud. So if we do create a, uh, a workout, say on your iPhone or a workout on the Mac or PC, it will then sync everywhere. Hopefully that's in the pipeline at Zwift. So cloud sync storage of workouts. But for now, 
the full list of workouts are there. I assume the syncing of custom workouts through Training Peaks will also work with the Android version, but I haven't tested that specifically. Um, other things of note, once I've saved my ride, it went straight up to my two synced accounts, which was both Strava and Garmin Connect. I did notice here though, in my Strava file, my heart rate did drop out and didn't come back. This was over Bluetooth. I did exit the room and come back. So probably just a bit of a sensor connection quirk there with the Bluetooth. Again, we're in beta. I expect to see these kind of things. So all up, that experience of doing my full workout session here on Zwift using the Zwift Beta Android was actually quite good. Now, this is one of the higher end phones, the Galaxy S8. The S9 is now out as well, but it's not a cheaper Android phone, which I'm keen to see how it does operate on the cheaper phones. So from here, I guess broadcasting the small screen to a big screen through Google Chromecast or something similar. Stay tuned for that. I'll have to grab one of those and have a play with that. And if you've used Zwift Android, let me know your experience. I'm keen to see if people with Cheaper phones, maybe you know, we always talk about the $50 cheap phone. Will it run Zwift? I'm not quite sure. Maybe a cheaper tablet. I'll be looking into those because I want to know more about the experience and uh, yeah, what people are using Zwift with and some of the tricks of the trade if you've got a cheaper phone and it does work on that. Alrighty, thanks for watching. That's Zwift Android Beta. Hands on with the Tax Neo here in the Lumber Lab.